Hello everyone and welcome to Everything Paulette. It is so good to be back, guys. I had a wonderful, wonderful time in Barbados with my family and friends. And guys, um, I did post a few pictures on Instagram. So if you wanna see um, what I've done, a little bit of what I've done in Barbados, you can you know, just go on over to my Instagram page and check it out. I tend to post a little more over there, all right? So um, before I get started, I wanna start by saying I thanks so much to all of my new subscribers and my old subscribers. You guys are awesome and amazing. I want to thank you all so, 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 so much, okay? And uh, I, I want to say, you know, before I forget, I never take any one of you for granted, all right? So remember that, okay? So guys, uh, we will be making a mac and cheese today. Yes, another mac and cheese. I've done the Bajan style mac and cheese. I've done the um, non-dairy mac and cheese. I've done the eggless mac and cheese. And today we will be making the creamy American style mac and cheese. So guys, you have to check this out. This is going to be the mac and cheese of all mac and cheese, all right? So, guys, let's get started. Okay, everyone, I've started. I went ahead and cooked my elbows. All right. So, what I'm going to do now is add a couple ingredients. And make sure to check the description box for all of the ingredients and measurements for this recipe okay and mustard okay so now I'm gonna cover this back with my foil and I'm gonna put it to the side then I'm gonna start on my cheese sauce okay all right, so my pot is heated, so I'm going to add my butter. So now I'm going to add my flour and I'm going to stir this constantly and this is how you make the your cream sauce, your cheese sauce. You have to start by making a roux. Okay. So my heat is on low. So I'm gonna let this cook for a few minutes until I think the flour is cooked. And then I'll bring you back. Okay, so this has been cooking for four minutes and now I'm going to add my milk slowly, a little bit at a time. And guys, this is evaporated milk and I usually warm my milk. I think it's just a, a West Indian thing. We tend to like the evaporated milk when it comes to uh, making mac and cheese. And as you can see guys, it's, it is starting to thicken up really nicely. Okay, so now I'm going to add my cheese. In thirds, I'm going to start with the Belvedere cheese. Okay, 
and you want to stir this constantly because you don't want it to burn on the bottom. I think I'm going to switch to my bigger whisk. So now I'm going to add the other third of the cheese. Okay guys, this is my cheese sauce and this is the consistency that I have, okay, looks good, turn the heat off, alright, so now I'm going to combine, mix well until everything is well combined. See you back when it's all done. Okay guys, here is my mac and cheese and it's been in the oven for exactly 40 minutes. Okay, so I'm gonna pull it out now and we'll give you guys a closer look. Okay, so here it is. Does that not look amazing? Wow. Delicious. So I'm gonna cut it for you in just a minute. Okay guys, let's cut into this. Let's cut into it. Okay, everyone, I want to thank you all so very much for watching and for all of your continued support. Please give me a big thumbs up, guys. Leave me your comments. Let me know what you think about this mac and cheese, the mother of all mac and cheeses. <laughs> all right, you have a wonderful, wonderful day, and I will see you soon. Thanks so much. Bye-bye.